Hey guys, welcome back to some brand new Ultimate Arc. And today, I think we're just going to start off by taming this thing. I just spotted it, and oh, I already have them on my E slot. There we go. A bulb dog, a level 140, and uh, we can go ahead and tame this thing up with the seeds instead of actually using the mushrooms that they like, because the seeds are essentially like their version of kibble. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a surprise, but it's going to be a definite upgrade from Bulbasaur because, I mean, Bulbasaur, you know, it's not the best one. It definitely isn't. Also, it's starving. Gotta feed you, buddy. I gotta feed you. But, um, yeah, so I want to bring you guys up to speed. There we go. It's already tamed. Damn. All right. Sorry. I guess I won't be feeding you. Sorry, Bulbasaur. You know, just stay right there. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe we'll just, like, put him on aggressive and leave him here or something. I don't know. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's let's be nice. Let's bring him back over here at least. He's an OG uh, character in this series, so we definitely need to treat him with some respect at least. Um, so let me bring you guys up to speed. Uh, I have been working away on gathering all the stuff that is needed to get ourselves a roll rat saddle, and we have more than enough metal now, which is great. Wow, we have 500 on the dot. I guess 524. Never mind. Uh, we should actually almost have enough stuff here. Let's see. Um, roll, roll rat. What do we need now? Oh, we just need the semantic paste and that's actually in here. Um, I've got a bunch of this stuff. So let's just take all that out. We're going to probably just be taking everything out in a minute. Actually, let me just grab the rest of that gunpowder because today we are moving. We're also going to be like taming up the roll rat when we get to the new location, but I wanted to go ahead and craft the saddle here so we don't have to bring everything with us. So let's see. Roll rat and bam one of those saddles sweet we still have a lot of metal left over and we have more cooking i'm gonna wait for all this to cook before we head off um so we have what is that like 80 ish yeah pretty much so that's another 40 metal ingots once they're done and uh we're probably just gonna turn the rest of them into bullets so let's see um right there bam all right so that's gonna give us a few bullets not too many but good for now oh my god the sound glitches from that thing is really annoying let's see what our new bulb dog is like actually um he's kind of got like poop colors he's like not very pretty he's got like purple i think underneath and then he's got he's got like a, a green shiny bit i guess that looks pretty cool but i don't really like the rest of the colors so it's just a good level for now we're going to be using this eventually we will probably upgrade to a glow tail and then a shine horn and then eventually a feather light and that's probably going to be the creature the small shoulder pet creature that we're going to take to extinction so uh guys make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one so far i've already put out the first two videos and uh they went down really well i'm glad that you guys are enjoying it so uh yeah keep up the support on this one if you want and if you like the series but uh for the moment i think what i need to be doing is let's just go ahead and leave you there there was a roll rat over here somewhere um he was only a level five i'm not looking to tame him but i would like to see if he's dropped any more gems because i need three more blue gems to make myself a glide suit so that would be really handy if we could get that here today as well uh that way i don't have to travel down into the lower uh biome areas where the hell is that roll rat oh he's all the way over there now uh, i guess oh hello i see ravagers i don't want to fight them as well let's see oh i have my hood off there we go yeah, you guys are... Yeah, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I'm just going to go this way instead. I don't mind shooting at the raptor. I mean, like, with the raptor, you can headshot it and kill it instantly sometimes if it's a lowish level, but fighting a Ravager pack like that, it's just not something that this Ravager can really do. And I've been kind of weaving between little Ravager packs from the very start. I want that blue drop, but there's so many Ravagers. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just, I don't want to run into a pack of them at all, but it's probably going to happen here today. Hello. Okay. We've got to wait for it to come back up and hopefully it's going to bring some blue gems with it. Let's see. What type of gems? Okay. Nothing. Oh, wait. No, there's some green. Okay. Oh, wait. What? I thought they cost 60 gems. Okay. Apparently they only cost 25. Now I feel dumb. I really do. I thought that they cost 60 gems. What the hell's wrong with me? You know what? Maybe I was thinking 60 because that's the level that you unlock them on. I don't know. Well, anyway, we got ourselves a glide suit. We have our roll rat saddle. I think we're pretty much good to go. Is all my metal smelted? Yeah, it is. All right. Let's go ahead and take that. And we got to pick up the rest of our stuff. I want to head to the portal location because there is a, a nice area. Like, I'm sure most people know about it. It's that little area beside that little lake. And the cave is right beside it as well. There's a little bit of metal, a little bit of crystal. 
some other good stuff around there so i want to head to that location um i've already lived there tons of times like it's kind of like one of my go-to spots when i am on aberration so definitely enjoy going there to be honest i probably should have just spawned at the portal area because that way i would have been able to go to that spot immediately Alrighty, let's just get down here really quick and be on our way all right cool so basically the the really easy way to traverse aberration oh i forgot to say goodbye to bulbasaur goodbye bulbasaur you can probably hear us but the really easy way to traverse uh aberration is just kind of understanding the map a little bit the way it goes is that all down there like all on one side right over there is entrances to the bioluminescent area so if we just keep that on our left we know exactly where we are because we could just follow it along to the edge of the map and i know that the portal area is over close to the uh far side over here um now let's just actually pull out the map here and oh we've got our we've got our base location from uh from our cluster series marked on the map i guess um so yeah if we just keep heading in this direction right here uh which we are going uh pretty much like over to right over here the portal location is pretty much there so you kind of have like this line of like the fertile area stops around here bioluminescent area and then you have like the uh radiation area whatever it's called um so it's kind of like pretty easy once you know which side the bioluminescent and the radiation area is you can easily just get around the map and it's not so easy to get lost once you already know that so yeah that's kind of like a little bit of a tip that i can give you um i probably didn't explain it in the best way but we're not gonna talk about that we're not gonna talk about that uh let's see can, can i get down here somewhere that's one part i'm not exactly sure of how to get across there without just jumping straight down i do believe ravagers take decreased fall damage so it wouldn't be too much of an issue if i did land uh properly oh hello roll rat what level are you level five you're not that same one from earlier We've got a, uh, what are they called? The vine thingy over here. Let's just go ahead and hop down that after we kill the scorpion, of course, because unfortunately on this map, we cannot find beavers. We have to gather our cementing paste uh, naturally. Let's go ahead and kill some of these guys up until the point when we can actually get ourselves some snails. At that point, then we can start essentially just farming it up. Let's go ahead and kill that guy. Sweet. All righty. Let's go across this vine area. And it's kind of dark actually, so let's light up really quick. All right, cool. So we should be able to just skirt the edge of this area and that should bring us to where we need to be. Whoa. Uh, we also got to watch out for Karkanos when we are down at the river area. If we do go down there, those things are a major threat to us right now because my Ravager probably can't kill them if they grab me, and he probably couldn't get away if they did grab me, because they're probably going to grab him too. So, need to just kind of completely avoid them at all costs if I can. Um, eventually, I don't know if we're going to need one of those on here. I don't know if I'm going to bother taming one. Like, I know that a lot of people, when we are playing Ultimate Arc, they want to see all, like, the cool creatures in each map being tamed, but at the same time, I've got to kind of stick to a bit of a schedule, and I've got to get all these like little tasks done along the way without like wasting so much time on things that aren't necessary one example is the phoenix a lot of people wanted me to tame a phoenix on scorch but i saw no need for one because there is no need for one it doesn't really affect my ability to kill the manticore um and a carcanos probably won't really help me get to where i need to be by killing rockwell so yeah we're probably not gonna bother taming one let's go up this way as cool as they are i'm i just don't see the point um uh, maybe you know what maybe we could tame one to help us farm because i do know that if you have two dodakiras and uh Karkinos, it's kind of like a really easy stone farm you could just pick up the two dodics and just walk around and they'll like keep swinging and the Karkinos can jump and get around kind of quick so maybe we'll do it for that but i wouldn't try to actually do it perfectly there's a basilisk up there actually we gotta watch out for him we can't outrun him but he's definitely is he inside of that mushroom i feel like he is he's legitimately inside of that mushroom that's kind of amazing i wonder what level it is let's just make it come up let's see level 20 all right 
We do need to kill them at some point. But uh, we don't have to do that right now. We need their scales eventually. Um, so yeah, Basilisk, another creature that would be handy. But at the same time, do I need to kill or uh, do I need to tame one? No, I, I really don't. It's just not something that I'm going to need to kill Rockwell. So I think the main creatures that we are going to need for killing Rockwell is, of course, Rock Drakes. Very important. Uh, we're going to get some Reapers. Probably not for killing Rockwell. More so for just... Uh, having them on extinction but also you know they could be pretty useful over here too there's the portal area so we're getting really close um but definitely uh megalosaurus as well we're gonna need a pretty good army of those over here spinos are another thing that you can go for as well but megalosaurus i find are just a little bit easier to tame than the spinos and i'm actually probably going to be using megalosaurus to steal myself some rock drake eggs so yeah let's see where are we right now Okay, let's uh, continue to go this way. We're getting really close here. Um, I wish I could show you coordinates, but I actually don't have a GPS. There are some metal nodes here. Let's quickly just whack these because they are uh, the golden ones, which means that they have tons of metal on them for us. Okay, so I think we're probably only going to be taking metal from one of those nodes. Now I am completely overburdened. Let's just drop this stone. Am I good? I'm good. We'll come, we'll come back for that one at some point. We'll kind of like remember this area as well um wow that was a lot of metal we got like 300 and something all right perfect so our area that we need to go to is just over here Ugh, stop it <laughs> what else can i drop we are super heavy right now my god uh oh you know what we had spears on us what the hell i don't really need those and i probably have way too much spot meat as well we can get more of that that's no problem like i'll probably get that much by the time i log back on uh, to record another video because I came back on today and all of my meat was spoiled so not an issue uh so the area that we want to go to is just down here so we can probably just jump straight down I would say how much damage are we gonna take yeah, we took like 150 not bad for a giant drop like that all right that is the spot over there that's where we need to be the great spot honestly uh the, an easy way of getting to here i don't have coordinates because i don't have a gps but if you just come to the portal and then leave the portal it's literally like right from there you just turn right so yeah really easy to get to um and we could just jump straight down to be honest there's also tons of uh creatures in the water here lots of fish and you can also get otters in this area if that is something that you want to tame uh would it be quicker if I just had him follow me? It might be. He's actually just as fast as I am, I think, in the water. Looks like it anyway. Alrighty. So what is over here? Generally, this little island doesn't have anything hostile on it, but I want to just be sure before I do anything. We've got some metal nodes there as well, which is great. Uh, Yeah, just a bunch of trilobites. And actually, trilobites are going to be perfect for getting oil as well although we do actually have oil from the what are they called um the tech creatures on this area as well come on all righty no no what are you no what are you doing what what was that huh just running away from me <laughs> all right so let's set up our little camp again forge down we're gonna drop that metal in get that smelting immediately and bam and then we don't actually have any wood now so do i have any spark powder i do not and we'll just use some thatch for the moment just to get it started go ahead and get ourselves some wood at some point um i'm gonna need a bed so i'm gonna need to go and make that so what i want to do now is just quickly make a transfer gun and i'm just gonna take everything out of the ravager and put it into the smithy so he has free weight all righty so let's go get ourselves some wood and everything i'm gonna make myself a bed and then we'll be back oh my god i had to travel so far to actually find one of these finally all right here we go ah help me ravager okay go neutral i forgot how vicious they are ah ravager kill them you coward come back here you fool all right Let's, uh, let's maybe try to hit them here. Can't do it. I think they die eventually, don't they? 
Ravager, help me. Still need to name you. I do actually have a name. I wrote it down. Where did I write it? Man, I'll find it after. All right. <laughs> Got our five honey anyway. It's going to spoil in like 20 minutes though. Oh, God. And I hate this. All right, here. Fight these. Fight these stupid bees. There we go. Kill that one. That one's actually really cool looking. He's like yellow and blue. Just pooped in front of me. I was wondering what that was. Let's see. There we go. One more, I think. Two more. All right. I wonder, can we get any more honey from this? Uh, no, what are you? Wh where is it even going? I don't even understand. Oh, we can get more honey. Where are you going? What you doing? Buddy. No, not this way. Ah, he died. All right, maybe what we could do is we could just like run away this time. Let's actually dump the honey into him so it spoils uh, slower. There we go. No, 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 no. What are you? No, no. What are you doing? You're following me. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't even understand. That doesn't even make any sense. Stop. Where are you going? I, I don't even know. <laughs> Stay right there. What are you doing, you fool? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's just uh, lay down on the ground. And then, oh, wait, gather honey and Okay, no, it says it there, though. All right, we got more. Bees. Okay. Now we just play the waiting game. Now, I guess we could probably shoot at a few of them. Avenger, come over here and kill them. Where did it go? Dude, is my Ravager actually like... I'm so confused. He's not on passive flee. He's not. Like, I don't even understand. The Ravager just wants to leave me, apparently. What is happening? Dude, what are you doing? What is it doing? I'm so confused. Is it afraid of the bees? It might be. I'm kind of afraid of the bees, to be honest, so I guess I can't blame it. Can you come over here and just give me a hand, please? Oh, they're killing me. Stupid Ravager. Are they dying yet? I think that they're actually dying. Yeah, that's right. Ha! Huh. All right, we got 10 honey. That should be more than enough. Okay, now we just got to find a good level roll rat. I have seen a few roll rats, but just nothing good so far. So hopefully we can find something. I'm going to circle around the base a little bit and just see if we can get yeah, like just a half decent one. And anything over like 125, even a 125 would work. So we're, we're definitely singling out several roll rats and saying no to them first. Because <laughs> it's going to take us a while before we find one of those. Let me see. Go ahead and kill you. Give me your tech. I want it. Yes. Oh, yeah. By the way, I killed the Stegos and got... Uh, let's see. We've got 37 so far. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. Were that... Okay, shut up. <laughs> I was looking everywhere, okay? Apparently, I didn't look right there. But apparently, there was one there. That's great. That's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confused what my Ravager's doing. Can you guys let me know? Like, I don't think he was stung or anything. He's still running from me. I just don't understand what he's running to. It's really annoying. Like, he just wants to leave me for some reason. Yeah, it makes no sense to me, but maybe somebody understands what he's doing. I don't know. It's just, to me, it just seems like an arc bug. <laughs> it really does. So, yeah, I'm going to keep looking for a Ravager here. Ravager? No. Roll Rat is what I actually said. And uh, I'll bring you guys back once we find something half decent. Okay, so we have ourselves a roll rat, a level 145, which is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. I really want those gems, but if I take those, he's gonna get pissed, so we should not do that. So to tame these things, all you gotta do is wait for them to be burrowing, and it's best to do it when their, like, tail is vertical, and then you just, like, throw down the... Oh, there's a dire bear over there. Ooh, we gotta watch out for him. You gotta throw down the honey as they're doing that, and then that should work. I do believe that if you throw down the honey too late, you're gonna mess up the taming effectiveness, so... Yeah, watch out for that. We gotta kill that dire bear, though. That's, like, essential right now. Let's try and feed this thing first, though. 
Mm, we should be okay. I would think. Oh, by the way, uh, I got raptored and the bulb dog's dead. So, <laughs> yeah, let's see. Now, sweet, it's eaten. Let's go grab another one. Okay, sweet. All right, let's go over and kill this stupid dire bear. Okay, it's only level ten, so it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I just got raptured like out of the out of nowhere and yeah, the bulb dog just was there on the ground then and just died and of course my ravager keeps somehow getting onto passively and I don't understand why because I don't even know what button does that. Like I'm not hitting a button to do that, which is the weird part, but he's somehow getting onto it. So I don't know. It must be some sort of bug. I reckon because I have no idea otherwise because I don't even know what button actually sets them to that and I don't actually believe that there is one so you want to wait a few times between doing the second feeding on them let's just tame this one sweet okay let's just check your taming effectiveness yeah you're still good wait what no crap we must have screwed it up. I guess you do have to feed them on the second one. I didn't think that you did. Oops. Okay. Well, I guess we've screwed this tame up. Uh, whatever. I haven't tamed these things in ages. I can't remember all the rules for every creature, but that's okay. I mean, it's still going to be a really good level. And plus, I mean, like it's going to be mainly just for gathering anyway. I'm not going to need it for much more. So it's going to have good stats anyway. Let's just get ready for this next burrow. I should probably just grab all of my honey as well. By the way, it doesn't need to be on your zero slot. It can be on any slot on your hotbar. Okay, this should be the last feed. Hey, sweet. All right, so we're going to need a name suggestion for this thing. Uh, my roll rat saddle is on the Ravager. Hello? So let me just... I killed a tech parasaur. Let me just drop those in there. Nice. We got a good amount of electronic from killing a few tech creatures. They're kind of everywhere and they're really easy to spot as well. I guess it's because it's so dark in this uh, map. Let's see. By the way, I have seen a few people saying that I shouldn't be using gamma, but I will argue with you that I get more complaints from people saying that they can't see anything than people complaining that I'm using gamma. So I'm going to continue to use gamma because otherwise this is what you see. And people complain about this a lot. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just gather up some wood. Oh yes, that's lovely. Nice. So yeah, um, we obviously lost a few levels on it. I'm okay with it. Whatever. I mean, like, it doesn't need to be the most fantastical creature ever. It just needs to be functional. And it is. It collects the wood. And we could also roll around on it as well, which we'll do in a second. I just want to get my Ravager over to safety of uh, at least beside the lake. Um... Okay. Although, you know what? Maybe we could do a little bit of rolling. Boom. Love this. <laughs> All right, Ravager, where are you? Oh, is he going to get cut up with that scorpion? Hopefully not. All right. I'm going to leave him like right around here. Okay. You stay there. Try not die. And I'm going to do the very slow turn. And now we roll. Oh my god, I love this so much. And you can also jump when you're in the rolling form as well, which is great. I love that. <laughs> Boom! Uh-oh. Ooh, that's probably not good. Oh, okay. We're, we're fine. <laughs> Jesus. Ah! Oh crap! No, 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 no! Get out of the water! No! Why? Is there any carcanos nearby? No, we should be good. We gotta roll. We gotta roll out of here. Okay. We got stuck on the wall. We're okay. Phew. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to collect up some more wood here. So they get decreased wood uh, by five times. Nice, which is pretty good. Um, I don't think fungal wood's any different though on it, is it? Fungal wood, yeah. Goes to the same. Um, let's go over here. There's lots of trees over this way. 
So yeah, with this thing, we could just collect up all of the wood, and uh, that's never going to be really much of an issue for us. Also, we could use it to just get around and get to metal nodes as well, which is great. Uh, we just got to make sure not to slam right through the metal nodes with the roll rat. That's the main thing. But uh, just in general, pretty awesome team. Like, obviously, it's a utility team first, but uh, I guess it could also be used as like a little bit of a combat team if you wanted to as well. I do know that they're that their role can actually do damage to metal structures, which is interesting. So I don't know if it has any viability in like some sort of PVP tactics, but yeah. Let's go ahead and collect up some more stuff. The saddle also is the only saddle that actually loses durability. At a certain stage in arcs like development, all saddles had a durability on them. And uh, do they still do? I don't think they do anymore. I don't believe that they do. But they had an armor and a durability and i think at one stage they were thinking that they wanted saddles to break after a while which i can say i'm happy that they don't i really am Boom. why are we rolling so slow oh i guess we're super overweight all right let's uh we could probably drop the berries i'm gonna keep these though and bam all righty so yeah i'm kind of happy that they didn't make that change because that really would have sucked but um yeah, the roll rat saddle does break after a while, so it's not it's not the cheapest thing to repair as well. Obviously, this thing cost me a lot of materials to actually make in the first place, so just get away from all those creatures. Oh, those are ravagers. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? I just like I don't even know. I was like pinballing that thing around. All right, we're good. Let's uh Let's see how quick we can get back over to the other side. Do you believe that they're slow swimmers, right? Yeah, kind of. Let's grab our Ravager. Can we get him on follow? Can I get him from here? Where, is, where even is he? I think he's like right behind this pillar. Oh, you know what? We could also find uh, supply drops under the water here. Doesn't seem to be one right now, but that's okay. Can keep an eye out for that though, because that could be quite useful. We could get nice materials by just sitting at base. All right, follow me. So yeah, um, we got a decent amount of wood on us for the moment. I just want to drop some of this back. Get a Ravager back too. Yeah, he's following us. Sweet. Also, the saddle on this thing, can, I think it can have like six people on it or something silly. It's something really ridiculous like that. Look at this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so we're almost across. Super slow. I might actually build a bridge to get back to the mainland. We'll see mainland <laughs> we're like slightly across a little tiny lake rare mushrooms nice just want to break some of those mushrooms because they're gonna mess with us um alrighty so it's probably oh i should actually um oh by the way i i didn't know that these were essentially stem berries it doesn't say it on it and it doesn't you know you can't use these to craft things that you need stem berries for so I was kind of confused when people were telling me that these are stem berries, and I guess I never realized it before. I don't know. Weird. Um, let's see. So where's my mortar? There it is. Let's just take our spoiled meat and just make ourselves some narcotic with all this stuff because we have a decent amount. And spoiled meat. Bam. Bam. All right. Do I have any more narcotic? I do. I have 29. Or narco berry, not narcotic. All right. Sweet. So we have our roll rat now. It's pretty amazing. We've got lots of wood as well. And we're going to use this thing, probably pumping weight in it. We're going to use this thing to just collect up all of the wood from now on. Um, I think the next step is definitely just trying to maybe get some oil or none of they called. What are they called again? They're gas pumps or whatever they're called. Uh, the little gas collectors. I think that's what they're called. Gas. Gas collectors. Yeah. So we just we need some of these essentially um to start making a bunch of gas balls and then we can eventually use that to make ourselves a um what's it called the hazard suit i can't even think of words right now so yeah we need uh we need a lot of gas balls for the hazard suit though you know what we could probably actually make a fabricator right now let's see fabricator we might have everything besides the spark powder let's see can we craft the spark powder bam yeah, we need flint. Uh, let me just grab my pick here, and we'll grab some stuff for some flint. We also got those metal nodes that I gotta mine up. Those have respawned since. Okay, and we're gonna need some stone too. 
Sweet. That should be enough. And sweet. All right. Let's see. So we need 50 and then we should be good. Oh, we're also going to need to... Let me just grab some wood. We're going to need to make some gas. Like regular gas. Um, So we need... Let's just click that. It's just going to pull for the oil on the hide. We'll just pull for like 10 maybe. All right, sweet. So that is that. And let me get myself a fabricator. And we should probably use... I've got a little bit of like raw or not raw organic polymer in my uh, Ravager from a dead crab. So we can actually use that to make ourselves a canteen now. That is... Oh inside the ravager let me actually just grab everything out of here don't need any of that in there take out the oil i'll take all this stuff at the end and we'll take that and that good all righty so we're just gonna dump that in there okay so electronics yeah we could just dump most of the stuff into here and the organic polymer and we can put these into here Sweet. Alrighty, so let's see. Canteen. Oh, GPS. 100%. Uh, we need a canteen as well. Where are those? I didn't see it, so let's just type in canteen. Let's get two of those, I would say. I need one cementing paste, which I can make because I know I have some chitin. We might not have the stone, though, is one thing I'm thinking about. Hmm. Do I have enough for just one? I do. Sweet. Alrighty. <laughs> we just needed exactly one. Alright, so canteen. There it is. Sweet. Uh, what else can I make? What else should I make? Eh, I can't really see anything. Um, right now what we should be doing, obviously, is the gas balls. Uh, we should also try and get some more blue gems. So I might actually have to head down close to the bioluminescent area. You don't have to go fully into that area to get the blue gems, which is great. So we need to do that. But I'm going to need some red gems before I can make myself a uh, gas collector. Although, how many do we have? We have 54. We might be able to make one uh, gas. Oh, they're in the other thing, aren't they? Gas collector. We can't make the S plus techie one, so... We need cementing paste. All right, we can actually make two of these right now. And I know a spot nearby where there's two little areas to collect gas. So that works out perfectly. All righty. So we're on the right track. We're three episodes into Aberration and we're doing really good so far. We've got a Ravager. We've got a Roll Rat. And we're in a really good location to just set up a little base spot. And uh, we've got just tons of materials around us as well. So guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you, find, if you found yourself enjoying this video. And uh, if you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and collect up all this metal, and then I'll probably grind out some cementing paste. And I'd say in the next episode, we'll start working on trying to make ourselves some hazard suits and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.